testing, testing, volume, this is normal talk level, <coughs> and voice crack level. Hey guys, Lego Minecraft 369 here, back with another fact to op. Um, so before I jump into things, I just want to say uh, I'm sorry I haven't uploaded in the past couple days. Uh, this past week we had family over, um, visiting from uh, another state, and um, I didn't really get many chances to record. And the few chances I did have. I was either busy with something else, or I just forgot. Um, but anyway, uh, so if you don't know what Fact Swap is, it basically stands for Frequently Asked Questions to Other People. So it's basically like an About Me webcam series. Um, so this is the second half of the SourceFed Truth or Dares, as you can tell by the title below. Or at least it's, a blo it's below right now. Um, so, yeah, last time I did 12 questions, this time I have another 12 for you. Um, and if you're wondering where I got these questions from, just watch the previous video. Um, maybe I'll link it in the description, I don't know. Okay. So, question 13. What is the one game that you couldn't live without? For example, Stranded on a Deserted Island, what would I choose? Um... Probably have to be Minecraft, that's my favorite game. Um, I mean, I can still interact with people, uh, well, if that's a deserted island, but, yeah, I could really live without playing any other games. I mean, there would be times where I wanted to play a different game, but I could definitely keep on going with Minecraft. Okay, 14. What is one thing you told yourself you would never do, but ended up doing anyways? Anyway, anyways, way of ways, way any? Um, <clears throat> well, I'm, mm. so one thing I, um, ended up doing that I never thought I'd end up doing, uh, I, I literally spent like two minutes, I just edited out of the video, trying to think, um, best one I could come up with was, uh, growing out my mustache. I was, I was just always known for it in school and uh, for private re not private reasons, but just not tell worthy reasons. That's the term now. Um, and I just really didn't like being known for it, which is why I've been shaving since I was in like seventh or eighth grade. Well, okay, that makes it sound like okay, sixth or seventh grade age wise. Anyway, but um. So I was like, I, do, I, I literally thought I wanted to never have facial hair. I was literally thinking of like, um, like I could get uh, laser hair removal stuff on my face. But, well, you know, I'm growing it. Yeah. Okay, number 15 is another edited question. Um, so the truth was in the video. Truth for Trisha, if you had to marry one of the source fed guys, Phil, Joe, Elliot, Steve, well, I'm just a long one, I guess. Who would you choose and why? Um. So. I'm not planning on marrying a guy, let alone marrying at all. Well, I probably will end up with. Um. So. I just changed the question. If you didn't see the last video, I'm editing certain truth to match me. Um, so, I'm changing it to, who is my favorite source fed guy? So, I think it would have been Elliot before he left. Um, because he's probably the most similar to me. He was a jokester, um, although he wasn't really as introverted with his jokiness. But, um, he was smart and quick with his jokes and I don't know, I feel like I'd relate with Elliot. Um, well, Steve is a close second. He's just really... He's that... He's the one guy that you consider the icon, almost. 16. Okay. 
uh, this is another edited question. So, Joe on SourceFed, if you don't know, has a daughter, and I think now he has a baby son too. So, a question was. Uh, what is one thing you will have zero tolerance for as your daughter goes through her teen years? I don't have a daughter. So I switched the question to, how do you hope your kids would turn out specifically in teen years? First of all, I don't even plan on having kids. I, let alone, again, I said already, I don't plan on getting married. Although, again, it's probably going to happen. Probably going to change my mind. But, um... I hope my kids would turn out like me. Um, I've, I mean, I was like most kids, but I've grown up to be a little bit of an oddball in the fact that I'm mentally cleaner than most kids, saying that's a stretch in a certain way, but, um, I'm, uh, uh, I'm a little more, I'm less rebellious to my parents, uh, I just, I, I would hope to have me as my own kid. Well, technically. Not really. 17. Uh, what is the most embarrassing moment you've had on stage? Uh, now this was asked to someone who is, who is on stage, um, a lot, but, or I think at least. But, um, I still can answer this question, kind of. Excuse me. <clears throat> I don't think I've had a most. Im I can't think of a very embarrassing moment I've had on stage. Um, but I do remember one moment that stood out. So, um, when I it was it was fifth grade. Um, and I was in the band group, which I regret. Um. Just because I hate it. I, I don't know. I, uh, anyway, I played clarinet. And it was the Christmas recital, so I was wearing a sweater. Again, this isn't embarrassing. This is just like a... Whoops. Well, I had one reed left for my clarinet. It was the one that was already on it. And I ended up right before we went... Like, not right before. We had like probably a couple minutes between. But before we went on to stage, I um, brushed the reed up against... Or, uh, my sleeve, and it, like, messed up the reed, so I couldn't play, or it wouldn't, like, do anything, so, I don't know why I didn't think to ask, oh, I need another reed, um, but, uh, I, I, I literally, I couldn't play for the entire concert or silo, whatever it is, um, so I basically was, Although I did do the hand motions, I don't even remember how to play clarinet anymore. But um, yeah. Okay, number eighteen. Have you ever crapped your pants, and how did it happen? I know I've, like, I'm pretty sure every kid, I um, peed my pants when I was little, like four, maybe five, I don't know. Um, but. I don't think I've ever... I don't think I've ever pooped in my pants. Oh, actually no, no. I, actually there was one time. I was... Eight or nine or ten... I don't know, like around that age. Um, this is gross. But, again, I literally asked the question about crap, so you gotta expect that. Um, why am I doing that with my eye? I, um, eight or nine or ten, I was, um, asleep. Well, not asleep, but I was in bed. I woke up, and I had really bad gas, and I farted, but... Well, I thought it was a fart. I thought it was just a fart. I'm amazed that I didn't feel all the crap that came out liquidly. I, it was like explosive diarrhea. It was my first explosive diarrhea. And I was wearing long 
um, pajama pants, which also was unfortunate. So, yeah. I think my second time having explosive diarrhea was on Easter, but I didn't poop my pants. Fun fact. Number 19. What was the worst date you've ever been on? I've never been on a date. Um, so... That's the answer to that question. I guess I can expand a little more on it, though. Uh, I do remember this one girl, um, in first grade, who I kind of had a little, uh, first grade crush on. Um, I don't really know exactly where it originated, but, um, or where the crush originated. But, um, I do remember I was her, uh, or she was, she was my, I was her, uh, like, square dancing partner for a little while in gym. So, that was interesting. Okay, number 20 is a long one. Truth. If there was a role you once read in a book, including comics, or a role you watched in a movie or on TV that you believe you could totally pull off in an adaptation into a new show or movie, movie what role and why? So basically adding, asking, what, what role have you seen in any storyline thing, so book, movie, comic, um, what do you think you could, uh, what role do you think you could play the actor for? Um, I think I had an answer for this when I wrote this list, but I do not remember it. Uh... Let's see. Nah, screw it. I don't know. <laughs> Number 21. Uh, tell us about a time you've told a lie and it's really come back to bite you in the butt. Um, what's a bad lie I've told? I don't, again, I don't lie often. But I have, I had my fair share. Um... I feel like I could think of one with a little more pondering, but I don't want to think of one, so... Sorry. 22. What is the most... Okay, so this is another one I have to edit. It says, the original was, uh, for Elliot, what's the most, most romantic thing you've ever done for your wife? So... Um... And then I switched it to, what's the most romantic thing you've ever done for a girl? But then... I realized I haven't done anything romantic for a girl, so I just dropped that truth. Number 23. What was the weirdest part of your childhood? I th again, I think I had a good answer for this one when I wrote the list. Uh... <laughs> Ah, screw it, I don't know. Last question, 24. Where is... No. Do I really have any... Wow, I just ended this poorly. Uh, it's... Where is the worst place you peed? Um... I've never... I, I don't think I've ever peed anywhere, except... Or, except in a toilet, a urinal, or, uh, when I was little, my pants. So that answers that question. Well, I guess I also, back in my old house, sometimes occasionally had to pee in the trees. Um, I just realized, you guys might be wondering what that is. This. That is, um, I mentioned that I had family saying... Uh, because we didn't have enough beds for all s seven of us, um, we, we had a little, uh, blow-up bed in this room. But anyway, guys, that's it for this, um, fact to walk. Uh, sorry I couldn't answer the last couple questions. I know, I really think I did have a good one for, like, the weirdest childhood thing and, uh, maybe the lie that came back to bite me or the roll or whatever, but... 
Anyway, guys, this is Little Minecraft 369. Uh, returning to YouTube after a short break. And, uh, see ya!